Okay, we are back to work on this little journal and I wanted to come back to the beginning of the piece that we started on which was the green one to show you an example of how we got this part done. Um, so we have we cut it open yet? I can't remember. Oh, yeah, we cut it open and we put paper on one side. I think this one is going to need paper on both sides because it's a pretty weak paper. So let me see if I have any more that will go with it. I have this. That would probably go with it okay. Pink and green, yeah, they can kind of go together, but it's more of a nature scene, isn't it? Um, so, I do have some green grass that could go inside. <laughs> I need to use up scraps, tons and tons of scraps. Okay, so on the inside, it doesn't need to go all the way down. So let's start here. I want to get this piece finished up so that you can figure out where I'm at. And then we're going to need a second one of those for the other envelope. back in the scrap bin. Now let's see. Those have to be cut off right about there. Let me check my time. It is 3.09. I will write that time down here in just a second. Okay, 3.09. Oh, so welcome back. So good to have you here with me today. This one goes in there. Okay. Oh, either side would be fine. This one is just kind of a practice journal, but if it turns out being okay with that bright green, then we'll use it as a Etsy listing. Okay, yep, that fits right in there, just like that. Gotta shake that glue up sometimes. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. But I found out on the other envelopes as I was working on that one little piece that it actually did need um, an extra piece of paper in the second envelope. It just felt too weak. And I didn't get that one nice and even. So what I'll do with that is cut it off. I must have caught up on something down there. so much um, 
in this scrap box. I don't know what I'm going to do with it all. I don't want to get discouraged about being overrun with scraps. So it's just kind of one of those things I'm going to have to go through it and decide how I'm going to handle it and then handle it. Okay, there we go. Now, what I did to get my um, I need this. I threw my pencil somewhere. Do you see it? There it is. Okay, these envelopes are eight and a half. So, right about there. Right about four inches. These guys. Well, I divided it between the two, is what I did. Somewhere right in here. They are going to be and they're wet. You know, sometimes this cuts, sometimes it doesn't. So frustrating to spend the money on this stuff and then have it not work. Very frustrating. Do you, <laughs> you hear that, whoever made this? Very frustrating. <laughs> we're trying to show something here. How are we going to show it if it doesn't work? Uh, see how it damaged that side there? That makes me upset. That upsets me. There we go. We fixed it. It'll look a little crooked, but at least we fixed it. Okay. Then what I did in here was I took a piece of fabric and put here. So we are going to put this little bit of fabric in there. And then it doesn't need to be totally that wide. Uh oh, it's going to be one of those that won't tear that way. Now, of course, on the other one, I put the really um, more of a grungy looking stuff. Had I known I was going to go with a male look in it, I wouldn't have put the pinkish paper on the very inside, but oh, such as it is. Okay. So we will go across here like this. Across here like this. And this is just to strengthen up the spine where the pages are going to go. Is 
Okay, that'll look very nice. Well, that'll be very pretty. Oh, it's raining. Usually the rain doesn't bother me. I have a candle burning for the families in Ukraine. Just makes me want to cry. What's going on? It just should not even be happening, you know what? I'm going to trim that. But then I'm going to pull the threads to shaggy it up a little bit. I don't mind if it sticks out some. But if it's out too far, it just doesn't look right to me. <laughs> but if it's all crooked and weird, that doesn't look right at all. There we go. Okay, and then of course this will get sewn into here like this and I haven't done that in the other one yet so I'm not going to do it in this one but that gets you to where um, where we didn't finish up the first inside one which was this one and I realized that I hadn't done that and we hadn't gotten back to it to show you what I did. <laughs> this is the inside of this one. And we have done so far uh, this part. And there is that piece we just put in. I have gone back through and I have added the extra papers to the inside. You can see they don't go all the way down. Um, sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. They really don't need to. I just grab what I have and toss it in there if I can. Then on this page, we have put these little envelopes in and we still have to cut these open. Now how are we going to do that? Well, we're going to do it just like this. We're going to line this up down here and then we're going to line up these so that they are getting cut at about the same width depth from the spine. Sometimes you have to start them in the paper. And we're going to open those up. And like I said before, if it just gives you a cut line, then take your scissors. At least it's giving you a straight line to cut on. Thank goodness for me. But that should open up our little envelopes. Now I think these are okay being blank on the inside. I am not going to put paper in them because it's just going to make them too thick and make them too small to use. But we do want to put a small thumb hole in them. So I think maybe we'll put the thumb hole on this side this time. And we probably want to, they were what, uh, three and a, three and a half, 
three. So if we go right there, then we can say one and a half is the middle. Right about there. And right about there. I'm going to use a small thumb hole. And there we go. Oh, sorry if I wasn't in camera. We'll get in camera for this one, maybe. There we go. I'm just kind of lining my little pencil mark up with where I assume the middle of the punch is. Just like that. And looks like this one could be punched out just slightly bit more. There we go. Okay. Then we will take our Distress Oxide, is what I'm using, uh, Vintage Photo, and go ahead and vintage up your edges. And let's vintage up this one. There we go. Yay! Okay. So, I put um, this paper on the inside of this envelope. And now we're to here. Now, on this one, we have this envelope. And Originally, it seemed like it uh, went better on the envelopes, but remember I had to trim down these envelopes because I cut them open. So that means my um, little envelope that was going to go kind of off to the side, we either have to cut it and tuck it in and reform it, or we have to put it right into the spine. However, what happens when we put it right into the spine is that we end up closing this half inch off here. It would be about a half of an inch. I can't just put it in here like this. Well, that's, you know, kind of what I originally wanted to do because it gets too close to the edge and it's still sticking out over there. Let's see. Because this is going to need to line up here. Let me hold that down. Yeah. See, it's just, just not going to work. I don't think I we could no we couldn't because then it would take away from there okay so um I think maybe the best thing for us to do with this Ooh, I just hate to even think about it, is to cut it just a little bit smaller. So, if we want to, say, put it right here, then let's say our sack is going to have to come to right there. But we don't want to cut all that off. We want to fold it in to give it an inside that works. So what we want to do is cut right down along here. And I'll do that with my trimmer. Just, just barely clipping off the side. 
just like that. Then what we want to do is clip the bottom just that far. What is that? An eighth of an inch? I'm assuming. I'm assuming, I'm assuming. Okay. First, I think I will bend it towards me. And then I'll go back and bend it into the sack. I'm going to clip this at an angle. Like that. And then I'm going to clip this piece off even. Don't clip your hinge off. You're going to need that hinge. Right there. Okay, now flip your hinge around. And if this pops up, go ahead and round it off just like we did over here. Just like it is done over there. That makes it even better. No. <laughs> Don't let me round it off. <laughs> it's not going to go very well. Okay. Fold this little line inside. And then put your glue on it. And you're just putting glue on that little hinge you just made to close up the side of your envelope. This over here, don't just ignore that for a second and then I'll come back to <laughs> tell you what it is. Okay. So there we've rehinged our envelope. We will recut this hole when we cover the front. Okay? Okay, so now glue this piece back down because it is coming off. And we are ready to decorate. Oh, this piece, that's the extra hinge I added on it. I cut a one inch strip of some cardstocky type paper. And then I just folded it in half, trimmed the ends at an angle and hinged them on here. Now let's see if this is going to work better. Oh yes. We want it to come right out to the edge. So now we can put this one down first. Oh, we should decorate it first. It's easier to hinge down if we put something, if we do the inside and outside first. So before this gets anything on it, oh no, because it goes the other way. Forget that. Okay, this and this go with this. This goes on that. This is going to go right on here. Okay? bunch of cigar bands, I guess. Not like bands that play music. Cigar bands go around cigars. <laughs> Have you ever been in the cigar band and heard them play? No. Have not. Have you been to the cigar band? Might be a cigar band. Never thought of that until just now. <laughs> there might actually be one. Around the edges first. So that's all done. Then quickly go around this way. And then fill in a little bit.
And we already have this piece on here. So we're going to lay that down nice and even with the side. There we go. And now we are ready to attach this to right here. Okay, so right here we need to put some glue. We can fix anything that you break. Okay, I think I got it. Squish it here, squish it there. Squish it, squish it everywhere. All right. Now this piece is going to go here. But like on the last one we put in, we are going to need to figure out where, because we want this to come close to the edge. So we are going to Put it right there and right there. We're going to cut a slit from there to there. And at about that width. That depth from there. Not that one. Okay. So that is, oh man, almost a quarter of an inch, but not quite. Almost a quarter, but not quite. I'm going to turn it this way. So I make sure I don't get too close to the edge and so that I can see that I keep it semi lined up. Now it would be good if I would use a um, quilting ruler. That would be even better, wouldn't it? Okay, so I see the first line right down there. Whoops. I sliced it just a little too far. But we can fix that. Because it will get glued down. Hey, come on. See right there? So when we glue it down, we have to be sure we glue that piece down where it belongs, right next to this one. So we could even back it up just slightly. Right here. Going to just back it off a little bit from the edge. So that I can adjust that. Okay, 
A little piece of washi tape there. There we go. Give that a little fix. Okay. It'll be okay because we're going to glue it down, so um, that will take care of it. Just have to be careful here. Miss Libby. Okay, let's bring this back over. And we're going to glue it down inside of here. Just like that. All right. Looking good. Start at your top or your bottom. And get it where you want it. And there we go. And make sure you get this piece down there. <clears throat> because that's the little piece that came off a little bit, so. There, I think it's okay. All right, we're ready to redo our envelope now. Oh dear, hope I didn't chop that one up. I'm going to put this one here, I think, because it kind of matches that. Let's see, I can trim it down a little bit further. Or I could put this one here. And put this one here. Oh, boy. I think we're going to have to put something along there. Because of how I had to fold it to cover up that break in the stuff and now it has a, a wonky line there. So what would we do? Um, I think maybe what we would do is take a piece about this wide and tear around it to fix it. Or we can make a piece that will slip over this, like say this. I don't know. We'll come back to it. We'll come back to it.
we'll get this done first. After we take a look at it, when it's got this paper on it, then we'll know better what to do with it. Okay, so that one's going to go right on there. I want to ink it up a little bit. This is definitely more of a, a manly journal, isn't it? Especially if we put that side up. But we're going to put that side down. Although, I love boxing. I don't box. I love to watch boxing. I think it's exciting. <laughs> I don't like wrestling. I don't like to watch wrestling. It's just not my thing. But I will watch a boxing match. Especially if it's supposed to be a really good win. Yeah, providing I don't have to pay pay-per-view or something like that to watch it. <laughs> have to do that, forget it. Not going to watch it. Okay. Um. Boy, I messed that up, didn't I? Right there. All right, girl, you messed it up. Now you got to fix it up. Well, let's see. I'll do it like I like I said. Need a piece of that. Oh, let's see. I'm there. But I know I have some other that will work. I'm pretty sure. It's actually a nice writing paper right there, isn't it? And it's a little torn around the edge. I like that. It looks like a little piece of wood right there. It's torn up there. We'll just have to get torn right here. What do you think? And that will fix it, I'm pretty sure. Nothing says it has to be Tim Holtz paper there, too. Just don't send the Tim Holtz police out. We'll be okay. right. I hope it's right. I've been snacking lately, you guys. It's been awful. I know, it sounds like a lot of fun. But, I, for, oh, I don't know, three weeks maybe, four weeks, 
I just totally quit the sugary stuff because it was just tearing my stomach up so bad because I have a lot of stomach problems and darn it, you know, it hurts. <laughs> well, I quit eating all the sugars and my stomach got all better. Um, I quit getting bloated and everything else. And it's not like I eat lots of sugars. But anyway, now I'm back at it again. Oh, it just drives me crazy. Okay, I'm going to put that like that. And I think that will cover that just fine. And it gives us a beautiful little writing spot. So, yeehaw. Sometimes it's a happy mistake. I don't remember what time I said I came in here. Two o'clock? Oh, I wrote it down. Yes, I did. You're right. Thank you for telling me. Okay, I know this little knobby guy goes right up there. If anybody's going to bend at the book, it'll be that guy. But I do like this look there because now that gap looks like it belongs there because it has this little piece of wood look so then this almost starts looking like that there we go yay throw that in the bin box um what time did i start 309 it's 349 right now so we have time to get the cover on this and we were going to go with this one. Right there. Yep. Right there. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and apply that there. Getting the pencil marks off. One there too. <laughs> that one was surrounded. I like that side better, you guys. This one just seems really dark and mysterious. This one's like, oh, that tobacco plant. That's what it is. It's a tobacco plant. What do you think? Could it be a tobacco plant? I bet it is. Okay, so changing my mind on the sides. I think all the paper matches. Well, it seems like the back of the pad has more blueies, blue colors on it. And the front towards the, of the pad has more of the dark colors, but they're all vintage. Now, I am going to want to put that on there. Um, let's see, how deep do I want it? Oh, 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 wait. See, even that one's too deep. I think maybe right about there. Three. One, two, three. Yeah. Three is what we want. 
And what am I doing, you say? Well, I kind of wanted it to have a little distinction between the patterns. And I thought maybe that might give it to it, but it doesn't. It's not doing what I wanted it to do. Oh, now that is. One, two, buckle my shoe. Okay, we're going with that. We're going to slice into it anyway. With um, getting into this envelope, if we can. This one, this pocket, we are not going to do the inside of either. Could have while well, we had it open, actually. <laughs> oh, I glued the... We might do a little bit right here in the back. Okay, so this is going to go right on there. But I think first we'll get the hole punched in it. Now we don't want it the same place that it was because that will be off. So just kind of try and line it up here. We got a thumb width on one side. looks pretty good. Okay, so I'm going to put this one in. But I'm going to say right there and right there. And it only goes down just a little bit. Not much. Just about like that. Well, not just about like that. Just about like... <laughs> Going to bring out some more. Well, that's not going to work. We'll get back to that later. <laughs> I don't have time for that. Okay, I should have stuck with this. Okay, so we're going to put that right there. It will fit right in there. This is just going to go at the back. Oh. My husband's cooking dinner. Ooh, he's making something good. He's roasting up some vegetables in the oven. Potatoes, green beans. And then he's putting some of this um, salami on the pan to cook also and then we're going to put it on buns and chop always cooking peppers and all kinds of things so anyway basically what happens is that um, you put this all together and then it makes a um, Like a pizza sandwich. Does that make sense? Anyway, sounds good to me. <laughs> I'll be hungry. I'll be hungry. She said that she'd be hungry. Okay, I am going to slip that right there. It's 
see? Oh, see? I'm going to slip it right there. <laughs> I'm still trying to get that cut in there. I'll try and keep it in your view this time. Oh, but that's not going to work because, see, this part won't fit in there. Oh, I know how to do it. I do, I do. I know. I decided to go with the dark. I think it looks better, especially since we got the white right there. Okay. Going to glue that on. Not going to glue the top or around that little hole because on here because I don't want to mess it all up. So Whoa. slipping and sliding. Okay. Now, to get to that hole, <laughs> press open your pocket, put this in, in this direction, so that you can see where the holes are. Okay? And of course, it won't cut now. Yeah, darn thing. It's because it was wet with glue. Wet with glue. There we go. I think it's fine. When it's dry, I'll try and give it another little cut. And if that doesn't work, who knows? I may just cut the pocket off. Right there. No, I won't do that. I won't do that. That would ruin it. Okay. So that brings us to here. So this is going to have a spine right up here where our journal is tied in. And then it's going to have a spine right here. But it's not going to be tied down, other than if we put a wrap around it here. And that will hold it all together. So, there is the first half of our book. Right there. We still have to put this on. We still have to open this up. And then we have to go to the back. And get it done. Cool. I like it. And then we have pockets and stuff to do and tags and tags and journaling cards and journaling cards and journaling cards. So it'll have a lot of long journaling cards in it or pieces of paper that are folded nicely. 
Um, and then, of course, it has this pink interior. But that's okay. Guys like pink. <laughs> some guys do like pink. And some guys look terrific in pink. So there we go. Looking good. Except for that little wonky pocket right there. Wowie. That's a wonky wonky one. But this turned out good. You can always tell when it's time to quit when you start making lots of mistakes. You know, one, two. <laughs> I'm afraid to cut this. Might not cut today. But I love this. I think that's cool. And I love this. I think that's cool. That'll make a nice tag pocket. And then the journal. Now the turtle. You may put a snap closure on it. Like a piece of leather that comes around and snaps right here. We'll see. I have to see if I have a piece of leather that would work. I might have a fake leather. Okay, well, there we are. We are going places with this. Next time we put these in. Thanks for joining me today, and sorry I got out of camera on some of that. I'm just fighting with it, you know. And when you're fighting with it, <laughs> bring it up closer, I guess. So, anyway, thanks so much for joining me and for subscribing. Don't forget, give me a thumbs up, even though I'm yawning. And um, thumbs up. Share the videos. Um, comment. I love to hear you comment. I answer my comments about once a week on either Friday, Saturday, or Sunday. I don't have time during the week to do them. Uh, so if you've left a comment, I'm getting to you because I answer them all. Well, sometimes they get hearts. Like if there's, like some of us will put a comment in every so often throughout the person's video to uh, comment about a certain area that they've been working on. So if someone has commented more than two times in my video, I may give them hearts on the rest of their comments. So, but otherwise I do answer them all, even with a heart. Anyway, I really enjoy you guys and I'm glad you're here and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.